Hey guys, James here, back with another video, and I'm back with, again, this series where I do a quick look and just a quick summary of my thoughts on Star Wars art books and Star Wars books in general. So the purpose of this video is so that you guys can have a very quick preview, kind of like a glimpse and teaser uh, for you guys then to want to buy the art books yourself and then look at the, the prints in high quality and all the writing and annotations that come with this. So today I have the Star Wars concept art. I was thinking of, you know, whether I should be buying this, you know, I had the choice of whether to buy this one or the really, really expensive, you know, $200 edition. I ended up just, you know, going with this, it's 40 bucks. Um, so, you know, I was like, yeah, I'm not that much of a diehard fan to want to get the other one. But this book does contain um, artwork, concept art from, you know, all the famous Lucasfilm people such as Doug Chang and of course, well, Ralph McQuarrie um, and all the people who do art there. So let's quickly uh, take a look. And again, I won't be commentating on any of this, but I'll just be flicking through all the different uh, things. So inside you have looks like concept art for Hoth, front and back. Oh, I really, I really like that blue. That's really, really nice. Yeah, all right, let's get into it. Oh, first up, I gotta pause. I really love the the saturation and the colors in this printing. I just that's it's really really nice. I've it just really sticks out, especially in concept art because there's so much saturation in here. So I really like that. So anyway, moving on.
So that's it. Total all, there are roughly 170 pages, 169 pages of concept art. I'll just quickly, I love this one. I just love this. I don't know, I just love the, the aesthetic of, you know, it's very interesting. So some first impressions, I noticed that the paper was a lot thicker than the previous ones that I've done. So the Rogue One and the Force Awakens artwork, it's a lot thicker. Um, so that's why you could see I was kind of like seeing, oh, is this, is this the only thing? So, you know, that, that shows the quality. Also, it's, it's, I think it's bound differently. So this is bound through, you know, stitching um, that goes along the middle. Whereas the other ones I think were just, you know, glued bound. So, you know, there's that difference as well. I think this is just an older, I guess, uh, print. Uh, but overall, how would I rate this? Um, it's pretty interesting. You get, you get um, artwork from across all eras, obviously, but I would probably rate this maybe a seven out of 10. I didn't really enjoy it that much. I mean, if you love the original concept art, um, then I think it's good. But because it's going such a broad uh, kind of spectrum, then I guess, you know, I mean, seven and a half, seven to eight, uh, I can't really say. I'll have to probably look at it again. But um, again, this is just initial impressions. But I love the print quality. I love the paper quality. It's really, really nice. And again, it's selling for about the same price, about $40 Australian. So I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can go and pick up one of these for yourself. So seven to eight, eight out of 10 um, is my kind of final verdict. But there are some pretty interesting stuff in here. Um, so if you've never seen Star Wars concept art, then definitely pick this up. If you've kind of been familiar with some concept art, then you probably wouldn't want to pick this up. Though there are some nice Clone Wars concept art stuff in here. So obviously everyone knows, you know, the famous, if you're a Star Wars guy, then you know the famous, you know, Luke looking over um, Mos Eisley. You know, you also have, uh, what else? Uh, where is it? C-3PO and R2-D2 concept art. So everyone's kind of seen this stuff, but it's the, it's the Clone Wars stuff, which uh, not many people have seen, which uh, I was also interested in as well. Um, you know, concept art by Doug Chang and stuff like that. So if you love concept art and you don't want to spend $250 on that really expensive one by, uh, which has all the Ralph Macquarie stuff, then definitely go ahead and get one of these for yourself. So I hope you liked this video. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it. Leave a comment below if you, you know, if you think that you would get one of these or if you don't think it's worth getting one of these, let me know in the comments. Um, if you have any questions about it, let me uh, let me know as well and I will try to get around to answering those for you as soon as I can. Subscribe to see more videos like this in this series. More will be coming. Hit that email notifications, be part of the notification squad and I will see you guys in the next one.